Hey, I'm Antonio Johnson, man, from a small town called Leland, Mississippi, um, with a small population, you know. And um, I really, you know, we don't have a record company down there or whatnot. And the Delta, man, has plenty of talent down there, but we just lacking, you know, somebody to put our music out there and someone to really showcase our talent. So the thing I'm going to try to do to the best of my ability, you know, as far as my R&B music, is try to bless the Delta with that. But um, like I say, man, you know, Leland, Mississippi is a very small populated area, and I'm, I'm just trying to put Leland on the map. Well, I knew I could sing, man. It had to be like early, early, I mean, early 2000s, late 90s, you know, and um, like I say, man, I used to run around just playing, you know, around, you know, with my voice or whatnot, around my friends and my peers or whatnot, man, and those guys, you know, they recognized my talent, and they told me, man, you got a special thing going, you got a nice sound, man, so you should have pursued this thing and, and try to become a singer or whatnot, but, um, like I say, I was always, you know, playing around with it, into sports mostly. But, like I say, man, and, and those guys gave me a real insight on, you know, wanting to be in the music game. I come up listening to a lot of blues, too, you know. I'm from the Deep South, and my mom and them, they always listen to blues on Saturday morning when we clean up. But, uh, like I say, I was... Influenced by guys like, you know, the Isley Brothers, you know, R. Kelly, of course, one of the greats, you know, in the game right now. You know what I mean? They influenced me. I see those guys on TV. They give me inspiration, you know what I mean? By me being a good writer as well and, be, and, being, create, and being creative. Well, it just gives me, you know, motivation and inspiration, man. Like, you know, it can be done, you know what I'm saying? So... I feel like I can, you know, pursue this thing on a professional level, and that's what I'm trying to do. First, man, my goal really right now is to get my music out there to the world. You know what I'm saying? I want the world to hear my music. and But my goal, me personally, my goal, you know, all the one day, you know, have a record company to where I can bless guys that, you know, have talent or whatnot that need to be blessed, you know what I mean? And another thing, like I say, of course my goals are to, you know, get my music heard, but the ultimate goal is, you know, sell a whole bunch of records like every artist want to do and bring home the metal. You know, everybody want the awards or whatnot, and that's the thing I want to do as well. You know, I want to, you know, do some big things in the music industry. Well, man, um, what I do is I write m majority of my music in the off season. You know, as you know, I'm a professional football player. I play football, you know, for the Indianapolis Colts, defensive tackle. And, I mean, it, it do, football takes up a lot of your time. But, you know, football is just a part of your life. It's not your life, you know what I mean? And music always been a part of my life. Not to boast or brag, but, you know, I'm a heavily, you know, creative guy, and I, I write music really, really quick, and it don't take me much time, you know what I'm saying, to write to write good songs, and, you know, and I, I feel like I can do an album in a two-week span or three-week span. I feel like I can do an album in that much time. Not to be boastful or not to brag, you know, but that's just the way it is. The name of the album is uh, Bringing Love Back, and it's a hot album. You know, I'm not saying it just because, you know, I wrote the album or whatnot. I'm saying it because it's good quality music and it's different music. And the guys I work with, they brought the best out of me in this album, you know. Um, these guys, man, they was huge, 
you know, because their their creativity brought the best out of me, and they made me create. And I worked with a guy named T. Bilzer out of Rome doing record. We did that in Leland, Mississippi, man, at home, you know what I'm saying? Shouts out to uh, T. Bilzer. And we, I worked with, with uh, my boy Relly, you know, Facial Machiavelli. Shout out to my nigga Facial, man, who, who, who come here, you know, to Indy, you know, with his home studio, man. And we just have a little home studio in my basement. And we get it in, even during the season, you know what I'm saying? So, like I say, man, music never leaves me, you know what I mean? But uh, like, like I'm saying, man, those guys brought power out of me and, and they brought energy out of me. And I thank those guys, man. Be looking out for the album, man. You know, bringing love back coming soon on iTunes. Make sure you go get it. Copy, man. Support your boy. I promise you, you will not be. Hey, girl, you know I really, really want ya. Meet you outside of the club with your homegirls. Your body looking good like all the time. Oh, since I saw you, girl, I can't get you off my mind. Say, girl, you know I really. really